And welcome back. You're listening to Peg City Groove here on CKUW 95.9 FM. Today we're joined with uh, Rob Crook, Sam Thompson of Dynamo, including their new drummer, who you can introduce. Um, and uh, among other things, uh, Dynamo is not just you know, a hip-hop act. You guys are involved in 400 other projects, a blog, a label, kind of kind of stuff. I don't know. All sorts of great projects. So uh, we're going to be talking about that. Uh, why don't you lead us off here, Leanna? Sure thing. Okay, so let's first talk about Dynamo. Like, what new stuff are you guys coming up with in particular to that? Well, uh, I just got a bunch of new equipment. So yep. uh, me and Sam are going to get down to the nitty-gritty pretty soon. Yeah, I think some ideas, I think. So. I think so. I think it's going to be kind of like a cross between uh, craft work and the butthole servers. Pretty. Yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I think also, um, like, I don't know what we're going to do with this, but I've been digging through some old tapes from the, when we did our first album, and there's lots of stuff that didn't get released, and there's actually a lot of other stuff just been recorded that we might eventually do something with. And we we always have a, we always talk about um, one day uh, putting on a bunch of shows yeah. and doing it the right way and actually making some money, and then hopefully one day we'll be able to put that money towards some vinyl. That would be. Yeah, pretty ideal. Which think, police yeah. slash dynamo vinyl has what is, to happen? What is the right way? Like just doing it, you know, like promoting. You know, it's so easy yeah. to put on a show right. and then not do anything and then not make any money. I don't think we played a show where we've got paid before. Right. I mean, usually it's just kind of, you know, a week before or something. We, someone says we've never put on our own show. Either no, we've played shows. Dynamo. People have asked us to play, and it's kind of been kind of haphazardly put together. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's like it would be nice to eventually get some new material and then mm -hmm. maybe get some money because I, I mean eventually which police would like to put out some some hard copy stuff as well as just just the free downloads so yeah and some of news of some of your new stuff right now uh it's available like singles and stuff on your on your blog all of the I old stuff is available it's right okay. like we have a couple albums an ep and then i guess a single like the witch police yeah. and spaceship S single sam's been really busy creating our new drummer <laughs> that's right yeah and forming her she's really cute yeah. <laughs> so th yeah, our new drummer's name is Liz Thompson, yes. by the way. <laughs> yeah, she just joined about a year and a half ago. Yeah, she's a force <laughs> of nature. She's yeah. a miracle. She's a little miracle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so just quickly, with Magnum Ki, do you guys have any upcoming shows? Yeah, actually, we about? do. Thanks yeah. for asking. Yeah. Um, Magnum Ki has a show on Tuesday, March twenty second, at the Low Pub. And uh, we are playing, we're splitting the bill with uh, this guy, Brown Man, his, the Brown Man Electric Trio. Um, Brown Man is this trumpet player, uh, trumpeteer, I guess. And uh, he's, he's, he's pretty well known in the jazz circles. He also um, was touring with Guru from 2006 to the end of Guru's life. Uh, for those who don't know Guru, he is of Gangstar fame. That was pretty recently he died, wasn't it? Yeah, he died like a few months ago, I think, which is kind of tragic. You know what else is tragic? Nate, Nate Dogg. Dog, I know, died. like a couple yeah. days ago. That's ridiculous. Like, you know what? I was, I was like, when I, yeah, 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 when, when I heard, I was kind of like, this sucks. And then I was driving Doesn't around my car. Doesn't make you feel old? I was driving around <laughs> in my car, and this Dr. Dre song came <laughs> on, and Nate Dogg was just, and I'm like, there's no other Nate Dogg. No. Like, the only Nate Dogg is Nate Dogg. And I, he's only 41. 41 he could have made yeah. tons of great Could've. music. I actually feel old hearing a Nate Dog died. It's sad because it seems like you know Nate Dog's not that old. I felt I felt old when I heard Guru died, but yeah. Anyways, so <laughs> we're playing that show at the Low Pub on the twenty second, and it's gonna be a really big show. Like we just played Man of K. I just played with Brown Man's Electric Trio in Toronto for Canadian Music Week, and it was crazy. You can check out the footage on YouTube if you just put in Brown Man Electric Trio and Magnum Ki. Also, go to our uh, if you if you search Facebook, I'm sure the. Uh, the event page will come up. It's and we got some footage in the event page. It's going to be a crazy show. I hope I hope people come out. You know, too, I could I could even just put it on Witch Police too. Yeah, yeah I'll do that and advertise the show that yeah. way, and then yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. You should do that. We're going to be talking a little more in detail about Witch Police in sure. a second, but uh, Rob, I want to ask you about other projects you got. Uh, sure. I know um, the the band we can't say yeah. entirety on on the air. F and oh, yeah. uh, F and Artards. Artards. Yeah. Um, uh, came out recently. Well, not too recently, but recently uh, with with uh, with a download yeah. card. Um, what's going on with that project? Um, well, we just went out west promoting that record, and that uh, that went well. And um, I think right now we're playing. Right now we're scheduled to play in April. I think is our next show, April twenty fourth or something. 
And we're playing with like Quagmire, I think. Um, yeah, we, we like playing the punk shows. Like, um, I think obviously we're a hip hop group. Like that group is a straight rap group, and we like rap really hard, and that's what it is. But for some reason, like we really like playing the punk shows, and we feel like the energy fits into the punk category. And, and to be fair, when we do play the punk shows, sometimes people are like, you know, scoff at the rap thing and walk out. But I think most people really get into it, and and we re we really like playing those shows. So. We might continue to do that. You should. It feels like the Albert's a good fit for you. I've yeah, seen, I've seen you a couple, a couple times there, and it's yeah. been. I love the Albert. Awesome. Well, yeah. F and R tards remind me of a punk band more than a rap group, anyway. Yeah. Just in yeah. terms of the aggression of it and stuff. I think it's because our, our main, like, I think uh, me and me and the other member, Mikel Rondo, uh, we, we kind of we don't have like the exact similar taste in music, but the the things that we do uh, do have similar taste in are like that kind of punk rap influence like Wu-Tang is our favorite group like for sure like we we yeah. we s sometimes just get drunk and high and watch YouTube videos of Wu-Tang all night so that's kind of where that album came from and that's I where think Wu-Tang is still everybody's favorite group though yeah I mean pretty much yeah. like unless definitely the driving yeah. force behind Witch Police right or at least oh, yeah. you, you're, yeah, you two well, I, I know so, yeah. you two yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. did that did that start the friendship <laughs> no actually no, <laughs> the no, love no. Of we, we were in a band together and Grade seven, we were like eleven yeah. years old. Yeah, or something. I think it was like it was definitely like I think it was Nirvana and Soundgarden or something. Yeah, like, yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure. It started off. Rob was far ahead of me as far as listening to rap. I, I didn't get into it until a little later. Yeah, I remember the initial. Yeah, those initial '90s years, you were all like rap. No, I'm a grunge kid. Yeah, no, yeah, rap. Yeah. You guys then, knew each other back then? No, no. I'm just, no, but oh, that's, 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 that's the typical. Attitude, right? That's, oh, that's oh, a typical yeah. oh, right, attitude. Right, right, right. Yeah. You know, and then 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 you you, you hear a, a good rap album, and, and then Lollapalooza then comes out, and out. everybody yeah. likes yeah. rap. Everybody yeah. likes rap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, an, another thing we can talk about is uh, your solo stuff, Rob. Like uh, I remember, Misogyny Three was was was. Well, I can I can show it to you. It's been played the heck out of here, yes. especially yeah. for that awesome. that Hey Hey song. Is everybody's he ate that up? Yeah. Um, what are you doing uh, with the, your solo stuff right now? Um, I have a bunch of solo stuff, uh, either recorded or ready to be recorded. It's just it's just a matter of getting it all together and and getting it ready for release. I'm trying to do some more YouTube videos because, like you said, the Hey Hey video did pretty well. So I'd like to do more videos like that, especially since that video is so simple. And like yeah, it, it took us, we did it in an afternoon, I think. It's, yeah, it pretty and it, it came across really Sorry, well. My kids destroying the studio. Yeah. <laughs> you mean our drummer is destroying our the studio? <laughs> Drummers tend to destroy yeah, things yeah, anyway, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's like what, what album? What album is she destroying right now? I don't know, what is that? Uh, um, Johnny Max Band. Oh well, it's it's fine then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but okay. hey, well, I'll clean it up before we leave. The the Thai Psych albums are on the top shelf, so it's okay. It's a little too short. Yeah. <laughs> So Sam, uh, yeah. what other solo projects are are you working on? Nothing. No. <laughs> At the moment, no. I, I don't have. I mean, you know, I have a a, a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, and I got a job and everything. So it's hard. It's hard to uh, hard to have time to do this. Uh, Witch Police has been pretty much taking up my time, right. just putting stuff up there, and uh, a lot of it's just finding old things. I mean, a lot of the goal of Witch Police is to find old recordings that we and our friends have done, and just like otherwise they would just have been. <laughs> <laughs> lost in somebody's basement <laughs> and uh, uh sorry yeah no it's uh, we've been digging up some old stuff that we have um that just never got released or yeah. was released on tape among a few of us you know 10 he, years ago but you know sam you're sam's a really busy guy but even i'm surprised how uh how much he updates which police week which police is updated at least once a week right yeah well i, I think that if i don't update it people are going to stop reading it For it's sure. kind of the idea. Yeah. even if it's something as simple as saying you know rob's playing a show next week here's the yeah. poster yeah. that's you know sufficient yeah. and we actually have been getting uh, some people submitting stuff to us like that we don't know personally which is cool which is great because yep. that's going to be the segue we're going to we're going to take a break and we're going to we're going to come right back and talk about that and how you can get involved with it, which police uh speaking about hey hey i got that lined up so we should play cool. that and we'll come back we'll listen to so can more dynamo yeah oh it's, yeah <laughs> so can week i'm sure you got your 25 cents in Are the mail right i got seven dollars from so can not well, too long ago yeah it's probably it's probably us is that, yeah, yeah. For sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll take a break you listen to peg city groove here on ckw cool. 95.9 fm in winnipeg Uh, joined in the studio with Harab Crooks, Sam Thompson, and uh, Liz Thompson of uh, Dynamo. 
And uh, we're talking about uh, all their different projects they got going on. Dynamo, effing uh, Artards, Magnum Ki. Mouthboat. Mouthboat. The mouthboat's still kicking? No. In no, spirit. No, in spirit. It's always <laughs> kicking because you always release some new demos. Yeah, I, I know. I keep finding stuff. That's what I mean, though. We yeah. keep finding tapes and, yeah. Hi. Yeah, L- Lily just piped in there. It was, uh, or sorry, Liz just piped in there. At one point, we were thinking of making a mouthboat documentary, like yeah. we did one for Grandpa's Army a few years back, and we were yeah. doing a mouthboat one, but it didn't get around to it. It's probably not enough footage, will, is there? Will is robots ever there? find rainbows or something like that? No, careful, careful, careful. But um, is, is there like enough footage of interviews and stuff? No, we like, do new interviews. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Grandpa's yeah. Army was all new interviews too, right? So. So, uh, yeah. which police is, uh, is, is one of the main things I've been, I wanted to bring into, uh, you guys into yeah. today because like it's, uh, I think it's a, it's an awesome achievement to local music, uh, you know, just, just the blogosphere in general. Um, how did, uh, what was the original driving force for which police uh, to originally? I think it was that we had a Dynamo album that we were working on and I wanted to find a way to get it out there because we yeah. weren't playing shows at that point where we hadn't done any shows and um, yeah, we wanted to make it available. We weren't going to make any hard copies of it, so I figured out, hey, I can just make a free blog yeah. and just put it up there. So we did that, and we put I put up some mouthboat stuff before, while we were waiting for the dining album to be finished, and then it just kind of went from there. And um, over time, it's like covered uh, a whole number of uh, different side acts, other than Dynamo, uh, you know, Rob Solo stuff, yeah. uh, you know videos music videos and now recently you've been doing features with other bands uh, yeah. how 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 is that pro- like progressed and grown like like what was the original context with different bands and um, stuff I think the original thing was just to get bands we knew cuz we you know yeah. both being in bands since we were kids we knew a lot most of our friends play yeah. some kind of music excuse me it's okay <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. there we go there we go stuck in the roller um yeah most people we know are play music of some kind or another and uh, it just seemed like, you know, if we're doing this for our own music, we might as well get other people on there. And then uh, I guess part of the reason to find people we didn't uh, currently know, I guess, would be yeah. because we need to put filler on there. We need, we need to fill some space on which but And also, you know, you spread it out to more people. That, for sure. That then, you know, their friends are checking it out and their friends are checking it out. For yeah. sure. And if we get someone we don't know who lives not necessarily in Winnipeg that, you know, their friends are going to check it out and they might say, hey, what's Rob Crooks, yeah. you know, click on that and, and download it. So, What are uh, some of the recent features you've had recently on the la- last couple um, of months? Well, we did Friendliness and the Human Rights, which was yeah. really cool. Uh, they played at the um, Winnipeg Sky and Reggae Festival. And you guys actually broadcast it. Yeah. And I I'd copied that to CD like the day after the show. Yeah. And had been listening to it pretty much like straight since then. It's been two years now. And uh, like, I really like the band. One of my favorite local, or not local, favorite Canadian bands. So I figured I would just send them an email, see if they were cool with me putting it up uh, for other people to hear because it's a really good set. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So you're just talking about your favorite Canadian band. I, of. I have. A really funny story. I was in Toronto and we we're sleeping at this this house, and the house was these four like uh, rapper musician people. And uh, so I'm I'm sleeping one night, and at four o'clock in the morning, I get woken up by this guy who's like obviously intoxicated. He's like, "Man, get up, get up! Bedouin Sound Clash is here." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Bedouin Sound Clash was partying in the living room of this That's house. Weird. <laughs> That's weird. In Toronto? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I guess they're party animals. Yeah. I guess so. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I went back to sleep. I don't really care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's better with sound class, right? Like I was waiting for the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, what are, are you? do you have upcoming plans as far as content goes? Like, um, uh, have you, yeah. Is there exciting new uh, releases that you want yeah, to talk there's a about? Yeah, well, there's a bunch of old stuff that we've found, including, uh, some more, as I was saying before, some more Dynamo stuff yeah. we, uh, we found. And a lot of it is kind of just half finished tracks that we didn't end up using some of it sounds really good some of it i think is potential to put on like maybe a like i guess attack of the automatons which uh, we you know yeah. you've heard a while ago it um it was a concept album and it was a storyline but by the time it got finished we cut out half the songs and changed things around so the storyline doesn't make sense yeah and i guess what i found is all of the little skits and everything in between the songs it kind of finishes the story so maybe i'll do something with that cool um we got some more year old stuff yeah i got some new stuff too that i'm yeah. gonna be coming out with because like i have uh I have different avenues for releasing music, but uh, I definitely always have material for Witch Police. Yeah. And S- Sam and I are f- are gonna get back into the studio really quick with Dynamo, Dynamo and we're gonna. I think we're gonna go pretty all out and make some videos for the next Dynamo uh, record yeah. too. And so there w- there will be a show coming up then. Uh, I think so. Yeah, we, do we don't have one planned, but uh, and like uh, you know, in the summer or at least in the in the later spring for sure. Yeah. 
If our drummer yeah. doesn't uh, get a concussion. If our, yeah, if your drummer doesn't uh, take a swan Careful. dive off Careful. the crib. Yeah. The, uh, the video is actually... Integral part of this <laughs> The videos are actually really good, like the Hey Hey video, like yeah. we were saying before. That's got, you know, something like yeah. twelve or 1,300 views, and that's oh. just from... Yeah. What about uh, Joe Shaku, Show Shaku? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what's... Yeah, yeah that, uh, you know, we were on here before, a few months ago, talking about that. That's the uh, Show Shaku, Ju Shaku album, which is yeah. John and Golden from the Mouth Boat. Yes. And then we're the on... The band s- I just couldn't remember. Yeah, yeah, well, it's <laughs> yeah. Name, right? And we're on some of the songs. I got yeah. a bunch of other singers. John sings on a lot of them. And they have yeah. two They have two videos, two videos on which yeah. Police right You're now. You're both are, of them. Yeah. yeah. I'm in one of them. Yeah. And we did those same thing, you know, we just in an afternoon shot the videos. They did they get doing pretty well, I guess. But their album's not out yet. It's whenever they finish uh mixing it, I guess, is what's going on right now. So I, I think one of the, 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 the best things about Witch Police is it's not, you know, perfect, nice packaged, you know, kind of C B C Radio Three kind of material. It's it's like demo tapes from basement shows and rarities that you just can't find yeah. anywhere else, For which sure. is you know, very appreciated. Um, how can uh, you know Winnipeggers and other local musical acts get involved in, in maybe uh, you know putting out their own? Or, yes. Uh, yeah, well, music, yeah, um, yeah br- you know, bringing their own uh, music rarities to uh, to Witch Police. Basically, just contact us on the, on the main page of Witch Police, yeah. witchpolice.blogspot.com. There's a thing at the top that says, you know, here's the email address if you want to contact us. Um, we also, as Rob was saying earlier, have a Twitter now. I don't really know how to use it, but <laughs> <laughs> there's a thing on there on the, on the Witch Police site yeah. where you can click on it and share links on yeah. Twitter. So I hit that and it does it for me. Yeah. But like anything beyond that, I have no clue. And just but, you know, type in Witch Police the first thing yeah, that comes up. And it comes and we're, up yeah, we're on Facebook. Yeah, there's yeah. a Facebook group too. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, obviously anything's welcome. People want to submit stuff. I mean, considering the quality of some of the stuff we have on there. You know, I don't know if we should really be turning anyone down. <laughs> yeah. But that's not the idea. Is not to be like you know, this is. Uh, yeah, it's not really. It's not really the recording quality that uh, it's about. It's no, if it's something that we think is cool and it sounds good, you know, and we we like it, or if we just like what they're doing. I mean, some of the recordings we made when we were teenagers are probably pretty horrible now when you think about yeah, it. But, yeah, but 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 now we got I mean, better, right? yeah. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> on that note, Liz, Liz is wanting a song, so we're gonna we're gonna give Any it song? to her. Uh, we got we got some dynamo uh, that we just uh, was it uh, where is it? You listen to Peg City Groove here on CKW ninety five point nine FM. Here's some dynamo for you. We'll be right back with dynamo some more here on Peg City Groove CKW ninety five point nine FM in Winnipeg. And we're back here on Peg City Groove CKW ninety five point nine FM. We're joined with Dynamo. Uh, Sam Thompson, Rob Crooks, and of course Liz Thompson. That's Sorry. really, that's really uh, the driving force behind Dynamo. Yep. Yeah, she's. We're gonna have yeah. to call it Trinamo yeah. pretty Tri- soon. Tri- <laughs> <laughs> um, Talking the mic. Yeah. What's that? So we're gonna bring uh, Liz in here and talk about. <laughs> what's that? What, what is what's it? going on? Yeah. yeah. This is the number three. Yeah. One, two, three. So she's been uh, systematically dismantling all our jazz records. She today. does that to our house too. Yeah. 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 Very inquisitive. She actually listens to uh, Iron and Wine. Oh, she's, she's a big Iron and Wine fan. Lullaby music. Oh. It helps her go to sleep. It's uh, it works yeah. incredibly well. I, I can see that it's happening cool. for the last yeah. two albums. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's my glasses. Oh, oh, now. Yeah. All right, you can't play. So. Uh, very quickly to go over, uh, if you, if Rob, if you want to just talk about any of the upcoming gigs you got going on, just to, to reiterate that information to tell the good folks okay. to come out. Um, I think the next thing I'm doing, I'm doing a solo thing at uh, the Low Pub on Sunday, which is f- for Folkways. Yeah. Um, do you know about that? No. I don't really know tell much it. about it either, but uh, apparently they're going around and recording a bunch of artists from Manitoba to put together a compilation yeah. uh, for Manitoba artists. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. I don't know if that's open to the public or not, but uh, if it is, come and check it out. It's like noon on Sunday. Oh, okay. So if you're an early riser, you know, hit the flea markets early and then come to the uh, low pub. <laughs> Yeah, Sam. Jeez, come on. <laughs> I get up at the crack of noon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then Tuesday is the Magnum KI show with the Brown Man Electric Trio. Also, DJ Kinetic will be uh, spinning some jams. So uh, come check that out. After that, uh, the F and R Tards are playing April twenty fourth. And then um, I have a couple solo things in the works. I don't know if I should really mention anything because nothing's for sure. 
Yeah. One thing, I think I might be playing a show with Nister Windrush. Oh, nice. Yeah, which would be really great. And there's a, there's some other shows that have been uh, I've been t- I've been talking to people about in April, but I really shouldn't uh, say anything about them because they're not yeah. they're not confirmed. But uh, I'll be around for sure. And yeah, so awesome. What about uh, you, Sam? No, um, no. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I, I I keep talking to people, various people, about wanting to start bands again i mean we're going to start doing some dynamo again yeah. which will probably be it for me but i have lots of ideas like there's been a few bands we've tried to start but i've tried to start since i've been a parent and that kind of feels you know harder to do than it was with the mouthful but we had one go- called uh, melted by ghost blood which was actually pretty cool but it just, yeah. just didn't last because i didn't have time but uh that was yeah hopefully eventually i can get something like that again it was pretty heavy mm-hmm Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for coming on, guys. As thanks for always. having us. And uh, we're going to go out on some more Dynamo and then, uh, hit up some Magnum KI as well. So uh, stay tuned. You're listening to Peg City Groove here on CKW 95.9 FM. Uh, I love that SoCan money, man. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> there you go. Keep it coming. That's what I'm doing, right? <laughs> uh, any, any last words there, Liz? Yeah. What's this? <laughs> Well said. All right. Here's some Dynamo. You listen to Pig City Group. CKW 95.9 FM in Winnipeg.